This is Mike Bryant from AdaptTrade Software. This video explains how to use custom indicators in AdaptTrade Builder. This is a new feature starting in version 1.2.2 of Builder. Let's take a look at a price chart in TradeStation. I've plotted two symbols. Data 1 consists of the E-mini S&P 500 and Data 2 is the NASDAQ 100 futures, both 30 minute bars. I've also plotted two indicators. On the E-mini S&P I've plotted Bollinger Bands and down below I've plotted the correlation indicator which plots the correlation coefficient between data 1 and data 2. Neither of these indicators are built into Builder so I want to show how you can use them in Builder even though they're not built into the program. And This applies even if the indicators were not available in TradeStation. You can use indicators you write yourself or ones you purchase from a third party in the same way you would use these two indicators. So the first thing we want to do is save the price data to a text file. So if we right click we can bring up the data window and this shows the not only the price data but the indicator values as well. So if we click the save icon and select the ES symbol and press OK. We can save that to a text file and we'll save that data in comma delimited format. And the key is that it saves columns of data for each of these indicators as well. So now let's go to Builder. On the Markets tab we click the Add button and we can select the text file that we just saved from TradeStation. When we do that, it opens the price file format window. This shows the data in the text file, which consists of the standard date, time, open, high, low, and close, as well as volume. But it also includes columns for these indicators. So we have a column for the correlation coefficient and columns for the upper band and the lower band of the Bollinger Band indicator. So what we want to do is click on the column heading for each of these indicators that we want to include in Builder. So if we click on this column, we select Indicator as the column label. And that adds an entry in the cu Custom Indicators table down here. And then we need to enter a code statement that represents the function that's used to calculate these indicator values. To see what that is, we can go into TradeStation and open up the Easy Language Editor and look at that correlation indicator. If we do that, we see that the indicator values for the correlation indicator are calculated from this correlation function, which is built into TradeStation. Again, this could be a, a function that you wrote yourself or one that you purchased from a third party. As long as this function is available, we can type this into Builder and it'll associate that with the column of data that we've just read in. So this first input is close of data 1, the second input would be close of data 2, and this third input, the length, defaults to 14. So let's go back to Builder, and in this edit box for the code statement, we can just paste that code, and in place of this first input, we write close of data 1, For the second input, we type close of data 2. And for the length, we just type 14. Now I should point out that Builder doesn't parse this code statement to determine what these uh, inputs are or what, what they mean. So it has to be something that can be directly evaluated in the strategy code when it's run. So there can't be any variable names in this code statement. Builder just substitutes whatever code you type for the correlation coefficient when it uses that in a strategy that it builds. Now we also have to select the return type. And in this case it's going to be a custom return type. And the correlation coefficient returns values in the range of minus 1 to plus 1. In this case though I know that all the meaningful values or all the values that I'm interested in are between 0 and 1. So I'm going to select 0 and 1 as my minimum and maximum values. 
Now if you look at the Bollinger Band indicator, we have the upper band and the lower band. So for the upper band, again, we click on the column heading and select indicator. And then in the custom indicators box, we can replace the code, the default code, with whatever function calculates that upper Bollinger Band value. Turns out that TradeStation has a function to do that, just called Bollinger Band. And the inputs consist of the close, the look back length, which is 20 in this case, and then the number of standard deviations. For the upper band, it's going to be two standard deviations. And that's what we plotted on the chart. And the return type for Bollinger Bands is price. It's basically a, a, a multiple of price. And then similarly for the lower band, we click and select indicator for that column. And then the only difference is for the lower band, we're subtracting two standard deviations from the average, so this multiplier is a minus two. So those are our three indicators. They're listed as custom indicators, but in this case they're actually using functions available in TradeStation. And when Builder generates strategy using these indicators, it will substitute these code statements whenever it uses that indicator. And by knowing the return type, it knows that it can compare Bollinger Band to any other function that returns price. And then it, it uses the values that it reads in in these columns to evaluate the Bollinger Band values. So now that we're done with this, we click OK. And we can finish defining the market up here, entering the point value and the trading costs. And that's pretty much it. Now we can build a strategy using these custom indicators. I'll just do a, a very simple build with a small population and a couple of generations just as an example. And this is a short data file. It should only take a few seconds to to generate the strategies. So let's take a look at one of the strategies that it generated. So here we can see that it used the Bollinger Band function in the entry condition for the long side. And it just substitutes that code statement that we entered wherever it used the Bollinger Band function. This is the upper band. And it uses this in an unusual way, which is not atypical of Builder. It, it looks for combinations that uh, produce results, meaning your build goals. In this case, it found that taking the highest of the upper Bollinger Band and taking a rate of change over that uh, provided some value. And here in the exit condition for the long trade, it used the correlation coefficient. And it compares that to a value, this XL2, that was chosen from that range of values that we entered on the price file format window. So this is just a simple example of how you can use indicators other than the ones that are already built in to build or using this custom indicator feature. If you have any other questions about how to use this feature, the user's guide explains it as well, or you can contact me directly through the website. Thank you.